All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. 500 doing it big, and today we're going to be doing it real big, working with bases, working with converting bases, all right? So look, normally when we work with these types of problems, we talk about our normal system, which is base 10. What does that mean? Well, that means we have to count 10 numbers till we get to the next place value, okay? For example, we got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six, seven, eight, and a nine. If you go to the next number, that's when we add another place value, it's 10. And uh, there's an interesting little pattern behind that. For example, if we take a look at base 10 in isolation, 10 to the zero, let me put a zero up there, is one, which is our first place value here. 10 to the first is 10, which is indicative of the second place value in in base 10. 10 to the second power is 100. Talking about the hundreds place. 10 to the third power is a thousand. And that's the thousands place. And so forth. And we could continue going and going and going and going. The thing here is that these, this arbitrary number system that we use, this base 10 here, only exists pretty much because we have, hmm. Hmm. 10 digits and some other systems exist because of certain applications for example base 2 which is also known as binary exists because in electronics there's only two real options we got either the switch is on or the switch is off and basic electronics uses a lot of binary okay of course now there's a lot of these different systems out there but that's really where these bases come from and today we're going to be looking at converting bases into base 10. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. All right here. So we're going to go ahead and start with this problem here. We got a number and it's in base nine. Okay. It's base nine and we got one, five, two, three, four, eight. Now, honestly, what I like to do is I like to initially teach this by setting up this place value here. So really we're looking at nine to the zero power being technically the ones place, okay? Nine to the first power would be the tens place. Of course, it's not really worth 10 anymore because 10 is not the base, that's not the base system we have. We got nine to the second, and we continue this. Nine to the third, nine to the fourth. Okay, that one looked a little bad. Let me change that one because that looks, that doesn't even look like to the fourth. That looks like 94. Nine to the fourth, nine to the fifth, nine to the sixth, and I guess I'll stop at 9 to the 7th. I mean, I may need more after that. But really, now that we have that kind of set up here, what we could go ahead and do is put the actual numbers to represent those place values. So in this problem right here, I got myself an 8 in the 1's place. I got a 4 in the 10's place. Really, it's the 9's place. I got a 3 in the... It's not 100. It's uh, 81 because 9 squared is 81. And so forth we could continue this pattern we could write these numbers like this okay so what ends up happening here is if we want to convert this well guess what we're gonna do first step we're gonna go ahead and I'll write it above here now look I'm going I'm doing this for the first one okay but later on we're just gonna end up creating the equation for this okay but really since we have one nine to the fifth power we're gonna get nine to the fifth multiplied by one. Then we're gonna have five nine to the fourth power. All right, and and maybe you could already see where this is going to. Okay, we have nine to the third. All right, we have two nine to the thirds. We have three nine to the seconds. We got four nine to the firsts, and then we have eight nine to the zero and hopefully you know that anything to the zero power is one okay so now we could go ahead and do this problem we could go ahead and hit nine enter five y over x you know to the fifth power and then one multiply we don't need to multiply by one but we're going to do it just because i want to continue this pattern and i want to make sure we do this correctly we're going to go ahead and hit nine enter four y to the x or to the fourth power hit five multiply and then add it 
because we're adding it to what we got from 9 to the 5th power. Okay? Now we got 9 enter, 3 wild rex, or 9 cubed root, and then we're going to go ahead and do 2 multiply and add it to what we've already been doing. And hopefully you've already seen the pattern here. We're going to do 9 squared, and then we're going to multiply that by 3 and then add it. We're going to do 9 to the first power, which some of you may already know. Anything to the first power is that same number. So 9 to the first power is really just 9. So we're going to hit 9. And you could raise it to the first power, but it's going to be 9. 4, multiply, and then add it. And we got one more. We got one more here. We got ourselves 9 to the zero power. So I want you to go check this out. 9, enter. 0, y to the x. And then we're going to go ahead and add it. We're going to go ahead and add it. Well, after we multiply by 8, I apologize. But I hope you notice, when you raise it to the 0 power, we did get the number 1. It was 1.00 times 10 to the 0. And then we add it. Now, here's the thing. You can't see it right now, but I'm going to go ahead and slide this bad boy over. A lot of these integer problems, they're integers. I mean, a lot of these base problems are integers. They want exact numbers. So what we're going to have to do at the end is hit yellow show. And now we got ourselves our complete answer. We just converted this correctly into base 10. So we got 9, 3, 5, 9, 9. And we have successfully converted a number from a different base into base 10. Okay? We're going to continue with this. And uh, hopefully we can get some good math going on here. Because you know what? These are easy problems. And with Mr. 500 guiding the way, we're going to make sure we can do these all day. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and get this started. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at the next one. We're going to calculate a base 6 problem, turn into base 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ooh, easy. So let's take a look at this bad boy right here. What I would do is set it up from the back. What do you mean set it up from the back, Mr. Gogato? Yeah, this is what I mean. I mean, we're going to go start with zero, 6 and 0, right? We're going to go ahead and multiply that by 5, okay? Add it with 6 to the 1st. We're going to multiply that by 4. Then we're going to add it. 6 to the second. Okay. And then we're going to multiply that by 3. Then we got 6 to the third. We're going to multiply that by 2. And last but not least, we got 6 to the fourth. We're going to multiply that by 1. And now... We have the correct way to change this base 6 number into base 10. So let's get it. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and 6 enter 4y to the x, 1 multiply. 6 enter 3y to the x, 2 multiply, add. 6 enter 2y to the x, 3 multiply, add. 6 enter 1y to the x, which you don't really have to do because 6 to the first power is 6, if you just go ahead and know that. 4 multiply and then add. And again, you don't have to do 6 to the 0 because hopefully you remember anything to the 0 power is 1. Okay? But I'm going to still do it. 6 enter, 0y to the x, then 5 multiply, and then we hit add. Remember, this is an integer problem, so we do want to make sure we write the correct integer form here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit yellow show on my bad boy calculator right here. And I'm going to go ahead and write the answer that I see. And apparently, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in base 6 is the same as 1,865. And that's our correct answer for this problem. All right? It's about just setting it up. It's about setting it up, understanding what we're doing here. And at the end of the day, it's going to be cake. All right? Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the next problem here. Okay? I like this next problem. We're going to be converting base 7 into base 10. Notice how it's base 7. The highest number that's in that number, in that base 7 number, is 6. Because once you hit 7, the place value changes. Okay, that's one of those things. So let's go ahead and take a look at this bad boy right here. So again, we're going to start from the end. 7 to the 0. And how many 7 to the zeros we have? We got 6. Okay? Now, I do like to put this as a placeholder so I remember but when we start doing the math, hopefully you can start understanding, we're not going to have to even do 7 to the 1st. Why? Because there's 0, 7 to the 1st. So we don't have to really write that down. But I like to. I like to, especially in these problems when I'm teaching you guys in the beginning. Because, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we got to make sure that we know what we're doing. Okay? But 7 to the 2nd, we got 5 of them. And then we got 
Seven to the third. And how many of those we got? Well, it looks like we got two of them. We got two of them, right? And then last but not least, we got seven to the fourth. We got seven to the fourth. And how many of those do we have? How many seven to the fourths we got? Well, it seems like we got six of them. And now we got our problem. And now we could do this all day. So let's start it from the front. Seven enter, four y the x, six multiply. Seven enter, three y the x, two multiply plus. Seven enter, two y the x, five multiply plus. Now here, I'm just gonna skip this. Do we need this one here? We sure don't, there's zero. So let's not worry about that. Now we got seven enter, zero y to the x, which is one again, which is one. I'm not gonna start doing that seven to the zero power no more or anything to the zero power because it's one. Six multiply and then last step is we add. We hit that yellow show and guess what? We got ourselves a great answer. It's 15,343. That's what it is, ladies and gentlemen. Hard work always pays off. Remember that. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Okay, so we got ourselves another base seven problem. Luckily, we kind of already practiced with that base seven. So let's go ahead and set it up. Okay, I'm going to just let's let's five, seven, two. The, let's see. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six digits, but we start at seven to the zero. So we're going to really put seven to the fifth right here. Boom. Okay. That's it. This is something like with, with enough practice, you're going to start being able to see it. But again, if you don't know, if you don't know what that's going to be, that leading place value, then just start from the end. Start from the end. Okay. Let's go ahead and bust this out. Let's keep it going. Two, seven to the fourth, plus three, seven to the third, plus four, seven squared, plus two, seven to the first, which is just seven if you want to just put seven plus one and and i mean i'm gonna label it but remember i hope you guys get the hang of it we don't have to put that no more we don't have to put seven to zero okay and now we just do this problem so we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and start with seven enter five y to the x five multiply seven enter four y to the x two multiply plus seven enter three y to the x three multiply plus seven enter two y to the x Four multiply plus. I'm just gonna hit seven. Enter two multiply plus, and I'm not even gonna hit seven to zero. I'm not gonna, because it's the number one. So we're just gonna have one plus, and our final answer is ninety thousand and seventy-seven. Simple as that. Look, I like this next problem a lot because it's gonna go back to what we started with, understanding what basis is. Now we could convert. Now I'm gonna let you read it. We got the value of 402 base six, and we got 535 base six, and we're converting base 10. Now we could convert both of those numbers into base 10 first if we wanted to and add them. That works, that works. We could do that. But if you understand the number system, you don't need to do that. And Mr. Ligado's here to help you out. Mr. 500, 500 doing it big, here to help you out. So what we could really do is we could set this up as an addition problem because that's really what we're doing we're adding these numbers up but it's a little different it's a little different than base 10 because notice how you know if we count up to nine and then we have to go to the next one we add one to the next place we're not gonna do that here because this is base six the last number we count up to is five okay so check out what happens here i'm gonna add five plus two five ten 11. Notice how I skipped 6, 7. I skipped all that because it's only base 6. So 5, you listen to what I did. I started, well, or I can do, I can start with 2. Start with 2. 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 11. You see how we stopped at 5 and the next place value takes over. So now I have 11. I'm going to put a 1 down here, carry the 1. Okay, this is base six. This is how we're doing this. And I'm, you know, I'm trying to get you guys to understand this because this could really help help you out in the future, understanding how to add in different bases and so forth. So now I got one plus zero is zero plus three is four. So we're just going to write a four. We didn't have to carry. We didn't have to do anything with place value. But now we got this bad boy again. We're going to start with four, four plus five, four, five. You want to say six, but it's not six because the place values change. 
you're gonna say five. We start with four again, plus five. Five, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we write the three and carry the one. And now we just bring it down. We have successfully added and we got 1,341 in base six. Okay, so I'm telling you, these problems are a little tricky, and hopefully, you're able to understand that. If not, you can convert both numbers to base 10 first and then just add them up. But this does kind of save us a little bit of time because the conversion process, as you could see in the previous problems, it does take some time. So that's why, if you could add them before we do anything, I mean, you just saved yourself a little bit of time. So now that we got that, we could go ahead and do this basic stuff. We could do this good basic stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, buddy. So we're going to go ahead and write what? Six to the zero. How many six to the zeros we have? We have one. Six to the first. How many of those we got? We got four. But then we got six to the second. How many of those we got? How many of the six to the seconds we got? We got ourselves three. And last but not least, we got six to the fourth. How many of those we got? How many of those we got? We got one. And now we can do this problem real easy, real easy. Okay, so let's set it up. All right, we got six enter, four y dx. We could do one multiplier, you could just leave it alone because it's going to leave the same number. Six enter, two y dx. Then we hit three multiply, add it. Next one, six enter, four multiply, add it. And last but not least, we just got the number one. We add it, we hit yellow show, and our correct answer for this will be one, four, two, nine. And that's what we got. And that's just what it is, ladies and gentlemen. It's just what it is. I, I do feel like I might have done something wrong here. Oh, I know what I did wrong. And hopefully you caught what I did wrong. Because I like it when kids catch me. And this is why we gotta understand what's going on. I hope you see that base six is being converted to base 10. I should not have a larger number as my answer, but I did a crucial error. And I hope you see it right here, because I, I'm gonna show you right here. The crucial error is right there. That's the crucial error. That was the crucial error. This right here. I went, just because I had four, four numbers, doesn't mean I write six of the fourth. And that's what you got to be careful with. Mr. 500 just made this big mistake. And hopefully you don't make the mistake, ladies and gentlemen, because we do not need to make mistakes here. But with practice, we become better at it and we're going to be able to do it. So that shouldn't be six to the fourth. What should it be? What should it be? Hopefully you could tell me right here. Well, our correct answer should be if this is second right here. Look, look at that one. That one's the second. So the next one should be six to the what? third power and that is a key difference here i'll tell you right now that number i threw down there was larger than 1341 we're going from basic it should not be larger and that's how you use reasonableness to check this stuff out so let's take a look let's really do the problem correctly we're gonna do six enter three y dx one multiply if you didn't need to do it but you know what i'm saying six enter two y dx three multiply plus six enter four multiply and then one plus at the end and now we got something that looks really 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 correct okay we got ourselves oh man i accidentally deleted it what are you doing mr delgado it's all right it's all right it is what it is mr delgado mr 500 making mistakes but it's all good it's all good we got ourselves 349 and 349 is really the correct answer here okay reasonableness matters all right ladies and gentlemen and that's one thing if you're going from a lower base to base 10 well guess what your answer should be decreasing in size all right so that's why you gotta understand reasonableness here and hopefully you get to see a little bit of an action okay let's do the next one right here we got some base 2 which another name for it is binary i like to put that here i'm gonna put binary why because just in case you see a binary question it says hey we got this number in binary now you know what it means so that's what we're gonna do all right so in this problem we got two to the zero and how many of those we got we got zero we're gonna add it with two to the first and how many of those we got we got one add it with two to the second how many of those we got we got 
Oh, I was already messing up here. It's already messing up. Hopefully you're catching me. It's not two. We only have one of them. And then we got our last but not least. Oh, we don't even have one of them, man. Mr. Mr. 500, you're making mistakes all over the place. That's a big old zero right there. Last but not least, we got two to the third. And how many of those we got? Now we got one of them. Okay, so here's the deal. Hopefully you see it. There's a couple of these we don't even need. Do we need to do this? No. Do we need to do this? No. Over time, you'll see yourself get a little faster. That's what I want to see you do. We want to get a little faster, get a little better, and we're going to end up being the best. So we're going to hit 2 enter, 3 y the x. You could hit 1 multiply, but you don't need to because of the identity property. It's going to be the same number. Any property of multiplication. Then we got 2 to the first, which is just 2. Then we hit add. And there you go. Our correct answer is, well, let me take that out of here. I don't want to use a highlighter to write the correct answer. The correct answer is 10. And you better write down that 10 correct. You better not put 10.0 or 1.00 times 10 to the first. You put that, it is wrong. Remember, these are integer problems. They want exact answers here, okay? Let's keep it going. So we got 8 to the 0. We got 1. We got 8 to the first. We got 1. Hopefully, you're feeling that these problems are pretty easy. Because they are. They are. They are repetitive. And when you practice a couple of them in a row, you're going to remember this. It's a cake problem. But you do need to practice. At the end of the day, we're here to practice. And once you practice, you get good, get good, get the right answers, and you're going to be the best. All right? So let's keep it going. Let me go ahead and move this down a little bit so we can see it a little easy. Okay? That's it. Place values are correct. Take a look at those exponents. They should be decreasing in size. And there we go. We could do this problem. 8, enter. 4y to the x. 4, multiply. 8, enter. 3y to the x. 5, multiply, plus. 8, enter. 2y to the x. 6, multiply, plus. 8. Look, you could do 8 to the first and then multiply by 1, but you don't need to. You don't need to because it's all going to be the same 8. And then since we only have 1 in our one's place we're just gonna add one at the end of the day we hit yellow show and we should end up remember this number that we're writing should be smaller than the number that was given to us why as as, as far as our place value it should be smaller they're, they're essentially the same exact number in the place value systems but it's smaller as far as you know it, it should not have that high of a number in like the leading digit and so forth so forth these things like that okay they're equal numbers but if they were both base 10 it would it would be you know i mean that other numbers like this this is going to like what the millions place okay but it's not really the millions place okay so our base 10 is going to be a lot smaller okay so let's go ahead and do this let's go ahead and do this let's do the ones that matter we got two to the zero how many two to the zeros we got we got one do we need two to the first no we don't to be honest if this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, there's a lot of stuff we really don't need here. And we don't need to spend time writing these things if we could already see which place values, which exponents we're going to be utilizing here. So we got 1, 2 to the 0. Notice how I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and highlight this. This one goes with three, right? And this one goes with six. And we already wrote this one right here. So now we could just put the ones that matter to us, okay? And that's a way you could save some time because this becomes a tedious process. It does. It does. But Mr. 500 here, helping you out, showing you these little tricks. Now, of course, I'm writing this because I want to make sure that you understand the process. I'm letting things go little by little. But really, all you need to do is hit 2, enter, 6, y, the x, 2, enter, 3, y, the x, plus, and then another 1, plus, and we got our answer. So hopefully that made sense to you. We got an answer of 73. There's little things we could do to make this a little bit easier for us, okay? And that's the thing. At the end of the day, we want to make sure we understand the content, but then we understand what's going on to make sure we get right answers. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and hit the next problem, okay? I'm going to go ahead and do the same little technique that I just did in the past right now. I'm going to write the exponents underneath the place value. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Because that's pretty much telling us the place value, the exponents in the place value. So really, I got 2, 
three to the fifth. Make sense so far? I got, I'm gonna add it with one, three to the fourth. Good so far? We're gonna skip three to the third, and I'm gonna put two, three to the second. Why do we skip three to the third? Because there's no three to the thirds. There's no, it's a zero on the place value. Plus one, three to the first. And some people will just put the number three. That's all you need to do. Look, if you're in number sense, you might know a lot of these numbers in your head automatically. And we could do these little mental tricks to kind of get you a little faster. Hey, power to you. But let's go ahead and do it. We got 3 enter, 5y to the x. And then we're going to multiply by 2. We got 3 enter, 4y to the x. We multiply by 1, which we don't need to. But then we hit add, right? Then we got 3 enter, 2y to the x. Some of you, again, might have just put 9. And then 2 multiply add. Last but not least, we got one three. Okay, so we got three enter for one y to the x, but it's just three. One multiplied, but again, it's just three. And then we hit add. Okay, uh oh, I think I messed up here. I think I messed up. And you know what? I'm not here to mess up. So let me do this one more time. Okay, I think I accidentally pressed three twice and my calculator started getting, eh, I don't know. I don't know. It is what it is. Okay, so let's just make sure Mr. 500 is on this right track. And hopefully you're on the right track because I know this answer is going to be around 500 ish. Okay, so we'll check it out. We'll check it out here. And then we put there. And then there you go. Our answer 588. Notice how it only has three place value. And base three has six place value. But they are functionally the same number, they're just in different systems. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Okay, so look, these little techniques are there to help you, but of course it really, you know, at the end of the day, it's just about setting it up. It's an organizational thing, okay? So we just gotta set up the problem, we get better with practice, and then we just keep it going. We just keep it going, ladies and gentlemen, that's what we're here to do, that's what Mr. 500 is here to do. He's here to help you keep it going, keep getting better, because at the end of the day, we need to get better. That's why we're on here, we're, we're on Earth because we wanna get better than ourselves from our previous days and hopefully every day just move forward, moving on up, you know what I mean? So let's keep it. Eight enter, four y to the x, four multiply. Eight enter, three y to the x, and then we're gonna hit five multiply, hit plus. There's all order of operations here. Eight enter, two y to the x, two multiply plus. I'm just gonna put eight plus, and then I'm just gonna put seven. Plus. Why did I just put the 8? Because it's going to be 1, 8. We're going to do 8 times 1. And it's just what it is. just what it is, ladies and gentlemen. We hit yellow show. And our correct answer is 19087. Let's keep it. Let's keep it going. So we got 2, 6 to the 0. Oh, that looks like a 6 right there. You know what? Let me go and erase this real quick. I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. That's 6 to the 0, right? Then we're going to add it to none, nothing in 6 to the 1st. So we go straight to 6 to the 2nd. How many 6 to the 2nds we got? We got 2. And then last but not least, 6 to the 3rd. And we got 2 more. So let's go ahead and get it, okay? 6, enter, 3y the x, 2, multiply. 6, enter, 2y the x, 2, multiply, plus. 6, enter, 0y to the x, 2, multiply, plus. And we end up with 506 easy work when we practice we get this right all right let's keep going we got ourselves that crazy number base eight but let's convert it it's not gonna be hard we got eight to the zero how many of them five then we're gonna add it to eight to the first how many of them we got we got seven we got eight to the second how many of them we got we got five we got eight to the third how many of them we got? We got one. And man, I think I kind of wrote this a little. <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay. Let me see if I could kind of just make sure I get this. We got two, right? Ugh, I didn't like that. It didn't even appear on the page here, man. So let me do it one more time. We got two. Eight to the four. So I typed it, typed it. And then I'll we'll just put a plus sign right here. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, ladies and gentlemen. It's okay. It's okay. Hopefully we get it. Okay, so we're going to do 8 enter 4y to the x, 2 multiply. 8 enter 3y to the x, 1 multiply plus, right? We didn't need to do the 1 multiply, but we could. 8 enter 2y to the x, 5 multiply plus. 
8 enter 7 multiply because we got 7 eighths you know that that place value then we hit plus and last but not least we got 5 plus and we got our answer 9085 you make sure you write the whole number it's an integer problem so you write down the whole number all right let's do one more right here let's keep it going all right base six we got six to the zero how many of those we got we got ourselves one all right then we got ourselves six to the first how many of those we got we got ourselves two we got ourselves six to the second how many of those we got we got three we got ourselves six to the third how many of those we got we got four and then last but not least we got six to the fourth and we have how many of those we have five so now we can go ahead and do this problem. We're going to do 6 enter 4y dx, 5 multiply. 6 enter 3y dx, 4 multiply plus. Then we got, you know what? I think I might have made a mistake. I think I typed the wrong number. But hopefully you're doing it and you'll catch up. I mean, not you'll, I'll catch up with you because you're probably a little faster than me. 6 enter 4y dx, 5 multiply. 6 enter 3y dx, 4 multiply. Then we add it. We got 6 enter 2y dx. 3 you multiply, add, 6 enter, 2 multiply, plus, and then of course we got 1 plus. And our correct answer here should be 7, 4, 6, 5. Notice how I've been hitting yellow show, because at the end of the day, we got to make sure we do this stuff right. Let's keep it going, okay? We got 8 to the 0. How many of those we got? We got 7. Notice we got some place values missing, so I'm going to skip some of this. I'm going to skip some of this. Man, I don't like how that 7 looked. So let me put it back here. Let me get that out of there. Okay, let me put a seven, make it look a little, oh, a little better. Okay, I'm gonna skip eight to the first because there's no eight to the first, but we got eight to the second. How many of those we got? How many of those we got? We got another seven, okay? I'm gonna skip eight to the third because we don't see eight to the thirds, but we do have eight to the fourths. How many eight to the fourths we got? We got seven, and now we can do this problem. Eight enter four y the x, seven multiply. Eight enter two y the x, seven multiply plus. And then another seven at the end, we hit yellow show, and we got our answer, two, nine, one, two, seven. And that's it. Got this base five problem. I like base five. I'm a big fan of the base fives. So let's keep it. Let's keep it on it. Let's keep it on it, okay? Now, maybe you might already be looking at that last one. That last one's a little bit, a little bit, okay. But, you know, before we hit that last one, let's do this base five, all right? Let's get it. Okay, so we got five to the zero. How many of those we got? We got four. We got ourselves five to the first. How many of those we got? We got ourselves three. You, you see it? Hopefully you see it, because I see it. And if I seize it, you seize it. <laughs> five to the second power, we got one. Then last but not least, we got five to the third power. How many of those we got? We got ourselves two. So let's get it. Let's get it popping. All right, let's do it big style, big dog style. So we're going to do five enter, three y to the x, two multiply. Five enter, two y to the x, uh, one multiply plus, okay? Five enter three times plus, and then just a four plus. And we got ourselves our correct answer of 6 to 94. We call it. That's a good one. So we're now converting to base 3. Okay. And now we got to not only convert it, but we got to figure out one specific number. We got to figure out the value of the 3's place. Okay. So it's kind of like the 10's place, but it's not. Now, I'm going to go into this little lesson here. Now, let, me, let me get a little bit of a space. I might need it. I might need it here. So before we do anything here, with place value, what we got to do is figure out the largest place value of 3 that fits inside 2,472. What do you mean, Mr. 500? This is what I mean right here. Let's see. Let's show you. So we already know 3 to the 0 power is going to be there, okay? But 3 to the 0 is really... Well, what we're gonna we're gonna start solving pretty soon, okay? We're gonna start solving it. I, a little table, we're making a little table. We're gonna be organized. Three to the first is three. This is one. Three to the second is nine. Three to the third, twenty-seven. Now I know a couple of them, but I don't know a much more greater than this. Three to the fourth, I already know is eighty-one. Three to the fifth is 243. Now the next one I'm gonna need some help with. Hopefully you're already solving for it. I hope you see what I'm doing here. 
we're coming up with our place value, the actual names for this space. So as I highlight them, I'm kind of telling you, we have the ones place that never changes. But instead of having the tens place, we call it the threes place. Instead of having the hundreds place, we call it the nines place and so forth because this base number system is different. So now we got to make sure we understand that here. So we're going to get 243, multiply it by another three, and we end up with 729. Now we're getting closer. We're getting closer to figuring out what goes into 2472. We're getting a higher value here. So I'm going to go ahead and put three to the six. Okay, now we got one more. Let's do three multiply. And I end up with three to the seventh is the same as two one eight seven okay which is still smaller than our original base 10 number you see it up there you see it number there it's this one right here bam okay so it's still smaller i'm i already know that our next place value is going to be too big but we got to prove it okay so i'm going to multiply that by three and i end up with six five 61 that's too big that's too big but i hope you're gonna see what's gonna happen next okay like now that it's all organized now that it's all organized and stuff let's check it out let's check it out here i'm gonna have this let me extend these lines a little bit because now i'm gonna actually put the values in here okay i'm gonna put the values in here all right and, you know, of course, math is interesting, but we got to be nice and organized to make sure we know what's going on. And I apologize. My lines are going a little bit like this dark night and then they go on. Ugh, man, I don't know. So how many of these, how many of these go into? Hey, I don't like that. That's a little too dark. That's a little too dark right there. How many? Let, let's use the yellow. How many 2,107s go into? 2,472. Well, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do 2,472 and divide it by 2,187. The whole number, the whole number part, if I hit yellow show, is what our place value is going to be. So now I'm going to write the number 1. There's 1 right here. Look at what I'm going to do. I'm going to now subtract the number 1 that I wrote down. Subtract it from the number I see there. And now you should see... 1.30 times 10 to the negative first. If you hit yellow show, you should see 1303 and all this other stuff. Okay. Notice what's next. I'm going to hit 2187 and hit multiply. And now we have the leftovers. Okay. If you hit yellow show, we should have 285. Where that 285 come from? Well, if we were to do the math, 2, 4. I, I, you can't see that first one. Let me, let me go ahead and readjust this right here. If you do the math 2472, because that's our original number, and you subtract 287 from it, guess what you end up with? When we borrow, this turns into a 6, two, right there, 12 minus 7 is 5. We're going to have to borrow here, turns into a 3, 16 minus 8 is 8. 3 minus 1 is 2, and that 285 is what I see right here on this calculator here, 285, okay? 285 so now we're gonna get 285 and we're gonna see our next place value here is 729 the 729 go into 285 sure doesn't that's why my number here is gonna be zero now 285 my next one here my next one right here is 243 does 243 go into 285 it sure does so we're gonna get 285 and divide it by 243 we end up with this 1.1. So now that whole number that we see in the front, that whole number when I hit yellow show, is my place value. Okay? Now I'm going to hit 1 minus that 1.73 times 10 to the negative first and all that other stuff. If you hit yellow show, that's the piece of 245 that, 243 that we have. So we're going to hit 243 and hit multiply. And now hopefully you see it. We have 42 left over. 42. Okay? We see 42. So now, how many 81s go into 42? Zero. How many 27s go into 42? Ah, well, there you go. You're going to do 42 and divide it by 27. You have 1.5 and, and so forth, okay? Now, you might have noticed when we got the 42, if you hit yellow show, it was like 41.9. Because our calculators do have little errors when you get to, like, 
pretty far place values, okay? And it does ultimately round, so the rounding errors do occur, okay? But ultimately, we should be able to still get this answer. We have 127 that still fits inside, okay? So I'm going to hit 1 minus, and then multiply by that 27, and we have 15 left over. How many 9s go into 15? Well, we could do 9 minus 6. 6 is what's left over, and 1 9 goes into 15, okay? How many 3s? How many 3s go into 6? We could hit 3 divide, and we end up with 2. And on, and there's nothing left over. So that's why here is a 0. What we just wrote right here, this number right here, this right there is the actual number of 2472 base 10 converted into base 3, okay? Now, of course, you might get a little faster in this when you actually practice the techniques and so forth. You, you can hopefully, and, and you know, as you get older, this becomes a little bit more easy to comprehend. But it's specifically asking us for the value of the threes place, and our three place value is two. And we got ourselves our base problems. Now, of course, this last one we just did, I've seen one of them in the past couple. Yeah, I've seen one of them. Okay, so they really throw this one out a lot. They throw the previous ones. The previous ones I see all the time. But this one I've only seen one of. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So don't be intimidated by this crazy number here. Now, if you're in math, get used to this kind of stuff. Because in uh, mathematics, I mean, you're going to be converting bases all the time. And just so you know, when you do math, the bases are a little different. I mean, they're written like this. Like, for example, this number that we just solved, 10101120. Well, what that really means is once we write a subscript 3, the individual knows that's a base 3. So that's how you technically write it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's always a pleasure working with y'all. Hopefully you get to learn something, converting bases. It's an easy technique once you get the hang of. But we got to work hard. And that's what we're here to do. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you have a great day. Remember, hard work always pays off. And I hope you have a great time. Until next time, Mr. 500, out.